everyone, it's me, the Otaku Fango, here to review episode 6 of Caligula. It's taken us 6 episodes. Count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 episodes to finally have everybody, including our pro tag, awaken to their weird powers that I don't really know what they're called, but they're things that exist. So yeah, it's just like, when this episode was going along and everyone started awakening to their powers, I'm like, you know what would be great? Is if that Ritsu did, and he did, and I'm like, yay! Finally! Six episodes! Like, that's the weird thing about this series, I think, is that everyone awakens their power before the protagonist, and that's, like, different. Because usually it's always the protagonist who gets the power first, and then everybody else. But no, they did it reverse this way, and it was kind of weird. But, I mean, he got it, like, very soon after everybody else, sure, but he, it's still after, so it's still strange. But, you know, whatever, so. And he did it without Arya's help, and he did it without remembering his reality self, so it's like... You're just a special boy, aren't you? You just get to be the special pro tag who doesn't have to go through the pain and suffering. You just do it. And I'm just like, all right. There is your plot armor. <laughs> I'm just like, great. But um, it was very interesting to see Mew, like, you know, do what she did. She kind of became, like, berserk pretty much. And I'm like, oh, okay. I hope you're the final boss of this because that would be really interesting because I'm just like, yeah, you know, Mew, a lot of time, like, I feel like she's kind of Vocaloid influenced just because of how she's like a singer and she wants to make people happy and stuff like that. I feel like she has a little bit of Vocaloid influence and that's just me though. Um, but anyway, seeing everyone waking their powers was cool and all. I was like, oh, this is cool. And then Ritsu did. I'm like, that's even cooler. So I wonder if we'll ever get his, like, backstory or, like, his reality self story. Because we've gotten some people's and not even, like, the full thing. We've gotten, like, tidbits of it. So I'm just like, hmm. Wonder if I will dive into his because I'm very curious about his. Everybody else is like, oh, okay. And, eh, like, you know, she hates fat people because of this reason, you know. That person, this thing, you know, whatever. But, I mean, this was confirmed for 12 episodes, I believe. Is there 12 or 13, one of the two? So, we don't have a lot of time left to actually do that. But we'll have to see. Because now they have formed the Going Home Club. Because they want to go back to reality. Like, when they said the Going Home Club, are you... I was like, are you kidding me? Really? But then when they explained why, I'm like, oh, okay, I guess that makes sense. But I'm like, really? Going Home Club? <laughs> just to hide their activities and stuff I'm just like really <laughs> but um overall it was a pretty interesting episode and it's like finally they have all the power now they can actually fight and do what they need to do I guess so now I'm like where do we go from here you know do we continue to fight obviously probably but like who do we fight do we fight the musicians I guess and just defeat them one by one and then we get to Mew and then it's like hey Fight her as the final boss, I guess? That's my, that's what I think. Like, I'm using video game logic because this is based off a video game, but I've never played it, so I wouldn't know. Um, but, I don't know. I just don't know. Because people say, you know, don't think of this as the video game, but I'm like, yeah, but the video game's influences are obviously there. I can see it. So it's like, you kind of have to think about this in video game logic terms as well as anime logic terms, you know? So it's just kind of like a weird mix. <laughs> but, um, anyway, um, not much else to say about this episode, really. I mean, it's just kind of like, yep, they awaken their powers. Awesome. Great. Finally. So, <laughs> what you guys think of this episode? What do you think's gonna happen next? Will we have a slice of life episode next? Because now that we've had all this, like, fighting and awakening powers, and now they all gotta become friends and stuff, you know, that's what I think is gonna happen, but I don't know. So, what do you guys think of this episode? And I already said that, so <laughs> I'm just rambling now. So I'll see you guys in whatever I review next. Bye! <laughs>